what a beautiful day to be at the beach. Really more of a pool person. And believe it or not, I'm here for the lifeguards. Not just any lifeguard though, I'm here to see Roy Lester, a lifeguard here on Long Island since 1968. Because I like it. You know, it's almost forced relaxation, forced meditation. You're sitting on the stand, you're watching the ocean, you're watching the people. You, nobody's calling you, you don't get, you're not getting texts and stuff like that. You're just there. For years, you can find this lifeguard at Jones Beach State Park, but not anymore. The state banned Lester's more modest jammer swimsuit, and now this lifeguard is fighting back. What's a jammer? Jammers are like bike, biking shorts. It, it's, you know, at a certain age, you don't want to wear a Speedo anymore. It's just, you know, when you, when you have a six pack and, you know, you're in your 20s, you look decent in the Speedo. After a certain point, it's, it's just not the appropriate attire. Case closed. The controversy began in 2007. That's when Lester was turned away from his rehire test. Turns out the state banned the jammer swimsuit, instead requiring all lifeguards to wear Speedos, briefs, or boxers. They say it makes it easier for lifeguards to swim the speed test in a jammer. But Lester doesn't agree. They said, well, the jammers are, are fast. Now, they, they were faster than other suits. There was no evidence, no data whatsoever, anywhere in the world, that that was true. You can take the test in these suits upstate. It's only on Long Island. And, coincidentally, Long Island happens to employ 90% of the lifeguards over 50. So it was completely aimed at the older guys. There was no question about it. Lester's case was initially dismissed, but it may reverse that decision and the case will go to trial. I reached out to New York's Parks Department and I haven't heard back yet. So how often do you go out? Uh, twice a week. Otherwise we saw it in the pool. Okay. I should take this off. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> but don't worry, this lifeguard isn't without a job. He is a full-time lawyer, and as of now, he's also working his weekends at a private beach club. But I asked him, you know, then why are you fighting this if you already are a lifeguard? You're still doing your passion. These guys were special, and that beach was special. I had spent over half my life, more than half my life on that beach. I wanted that job. So. Let me understand this, Diana. The jammers, according to the state, they said they gave the lifeguards an unfair advantage in the speed test. Was that the issue? Yes, they say that the jammers make it uh, allow for a lifeguard to swim faster. And so Lester says, well, don't you want the lifeguard to swim faster? Wait a minute. I, I don't even need to state the obvious here. Allison, you want to state what I'm thinking? I know I would want a lifeguard to get to me slower if I were drowning. So I totally agree. I don't agree. even understand this controversy. Well, that's what? the thing. If, a, if boxers are allowed, like trunks, they have right more drag than jammers, which look like biker pants. Is that what they are? I was going to ask. Yeah, that's what they look like. This is, and so honestly, the fact that they wind up in court, honestly, he so and insane. the whole lifeguard staff ought to be thrown into the ocean. This you is know, a, you know just a is. waste this of time. This is what this whole situation is about. He's in his 60s, and he doesn't think his body is appropriate to be wearing a Speedo. But we're talking about the beach. People let it all hang out. That's fine. And it's 2016. Dad bods are okay. sexy. Oh, he's Sergio. probably looking I can't pretty wait good you're if he's still a lifeguard in his 60s. He's probably fine. I didn't try exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. I can't even follow that up. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. <laughs> oh, boy. People are insane.